You made a big splash by switching all your internal communications to English. Yes. How has that worked out? It's working very, very well, as a matter of fact. Uh, and you, you did this because you thought it was the only way you could be a truly global company, right? Yes, and at the same time, even to survive in Japan. Mm -hmm. Because it is obvious that the uh, advancement of IT technology is just speeding up, you know, accelerating. Uh, and uh, just doing business with Japanese engineers oh, and scientists is impossible. Uh, talking about why we're so strong in Japan is because of our in AI engineers uh, in Japan, and most of them are not Japanese. Now, I understand you've got a new commitment, and you want everyone to have a certain level of digital li literacy, yes. programming yes. skills. Tell me about that. Well, it is, you know, for sure, if you're working for Toyota, for example, you know about the how automobile works. Right, basic structure of the engine, basic stru structure of the, you know, suspension and so forth. So if you work for IT service company, you need to have the basic knowledge of what's in the computer. Right? That's the very very basic stuff. What we call internet colonization is at least they understand how computer program, how you know, uh, processing power, processing units. Either it's a GPU or a CPU. What's the difference between GPU and CPU? Uh, what is AI? Uh, what is deep learning? Ten years from now, the world is going to be totally different. Um, you know, most of the services we do by human will be replaced by AI. Uh, and if you, our managers are not aware of it, it is going to be a big problem.